CEOs, what's up? It's your boy CEO Avish, and I'm back with another video, and it's that time of the week, so let's get into it. What I'm thankful for, being able to recognize that at the end of the day, I decide what I want to do with my day, let alone how I can go about it. I'm thankful that I choose to lead my day instead of letting the day lead me. In doing so, I'm able to keep myself consistent with what I want to do for the day as well as remain present, thus not being phased by things that are outside of my control. I'm grateful that I've come to the realization that anything can happen during the day. And as long as I don't get lost within it, I'm able to remain one with myself. I'm glad that I do what I want without allowing what others may think dictate what I do next, let alone what I do during my day. Reason being, this is my life. I'm living for me. I'm living my life. Reality is what you do next. With that being said, I have two screenshots that I feel like go best with what I had to reflect on, with I, what I reflected with you, okay? Um, so the first one says, the world around you is only beautiful when you are at peace with the world within you. I'll say that one more time. The world around you is only beautiful when you're at peace with the world within you. And the next one, the last but not least, the second one, all right? Says, your life doesn't have to make sense to others. Success looks different for everyone. Your goals belong to you and you alone. Give yourself permission to pursue them in your own way. <laughs> Bless me. Wow, I think that's the first time I sneeze on video. But anyways, I'm going to say that one more time. Your life doesn't have to make sense to others. Success looks different for everyone. Your goals belong to you and you alone. Give yourself permission to pursue them in your own way. So the fan's coming on, but before I, you know, end this video because... Yeah, that fan's going crazy. Um, I just wanted to say, like, basically, at the end of the day, I got to, like, live my life for me. Like, for me to be overall satisfied, happy, um, be able to go to bed knowing that I did something today with, like, some sense of purpose, let alone I did something for me and it made me happy, like... I got to do, like, I got to control my day. Like, I got to act with my day. I can't just let the day dictate what I do. So if it's raining, I just stay inside. No, I'm not going to let the weather just get in the way of what I want to do, what I want to attain. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to let other people's opinions on what I should do on a Friday night dictate what I do on a Friday night. So if I feel like going out is so boring for me at this point, then I'm not going to let what others think you know, oh, that's so weird, or like, you know, it's, it's just a Friday, so what, like, that same, it's the same thing we do, like, if we go out to a bar or something to a party, it's just the same thing over and over, and for me, if I personally feel like that's not something I want to do, I'm not going to do it, because guess what, it's my life, I get to control what I want to do, I'm not just going to do it because I feel peer pressured, or I'm not even going to let any type of, like, peer pressure get in the way of what I do, you feel me? So that's what I'm just really grateful on is that like, like for me to actually be able to be happy, I got to figure out what I want to do and actually act on it. No matter if the day's going great or not, I'm not going to be phased because a lot of the times if something's going out of my control, then I just, the only thing I can do is control how I react to it. What I do next, reality is what you do next. So I'm just grateful that I'm able to do what I want to do without you know, like if it doesn't make sense to Bob or Jerry, it's not my like duty, my responsibility to explain my every decision, why I'm not going out on a Friday, why I feel like it's just not something that's going to satisfy me. Like if I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. You feel me? And I'm just glad that I'm at that point in my life where I can really just really just do me, just be on my dolo shit and just not care. You feel me? Because uh, at the end of the day, I'm living for me. It's my life. Right. So am I going to just go out and party because that's going to make Jerry and them happy? What about me? Like, I'm not going to be fake and just go out and just, you feel me? I can't do that. I'm already tired. Like, I don't, I don't have the, like, urge to go out. So it's like, I don't know. I rarely go out. And so, like, as of recently, like, people just, like, I don't know. It's just weird. People really just think that it's normal to do what everyone else is doing. But it's, like, for me... I'm just glad I'm at a point in my life where, like, you know, if I want to just stay home or just do something that I want to do, bro, I'm comfortable in my own skin. I I, I don't care because at the end of the day, I've come to that realization. This is my life. I'm not living just to make you happy and 
you know what I'm saying? Especially when it's something that I've, we've already done. If this was something important, I'm glad that I've been able to like just differentiate, okay, this is important to do and this is not important, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, just aligning myself with that alone is uh, it's pretty mature of me. So I'm, I'm pretty glad about that. Anyways, that's what I reflected on for today, okay? So you let me know what you reflected on because as I stated before, I mean, this is the 30th self-reflection that we've done together now. So you better have like reflected on something at least at this point. Um, and I'm definitely, I'm definitely um, sure that there's something that you have either related on what I've said or had to say thus far. So go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, with that being said, I hope that you have had a blessed Saturday. And if your day is about to start or you're at the midday of your day, mid part of the day when you're watching this, well, I hope it's been going great. All right. With that being said, I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow for this quote is meant for you because it is meant for you. Like dead ass. Like what do you think it's for? The air? No, it's literally meant for you. Anyways, I love you. It's your boy, CEO. Obviously, I'm back. Bro, that's got to stop. Anyways, it's your boy, CEO. Obviously, I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow. Peace. Love y'all.